So we're gonna continue with this build on this SST transmission for the Mitsubishi Evo MR and this for a 2008. So what we're gonna do right now is we're gonna just gonna put this magnet which goes inside in this pocket right here. And I'll collect any debris. So now we're gonna put this pin in here. So there's a place where it was, it should slide through. Let's see if I get a good look at it. Right there, so the pin's gonna slide through and just sit there. So then uh, it could sit right here in that lip right there. So yeah. So now I have the pin right there. So now I'm just gonna push this just a little bit down. I'm gonna just, just wiggle it a little bit. Right here, so you can see that gap right there. So I'm gonna just Move this a little bit. So I have to wiggle it a little bit, but if I sit on there, and now you have the pin in there. Like so. And now we're just gonna Put all these bolts onto there. So I made a mistake and I needed to remove these two gears off here because there's a bolt down here that needs to be um, tightened. So on these, they have uh, these four of them that are the same size and these two smaller ones and this longer one. So this longer one here goes right there. The two shorter ones one goes right here and the other one goes down here and now the rest of these four one goes here one goes there there and the other one goes right here
So the time these, this will be a 14, uh, 14 millimeter to tighten all these. And for the foot pounds from what I found, it would have to be around uh, like 42 foot pounds. And also now the next step with, on this build will be adding these two um, big screws. And these are the ones that are gonna go um, on this side of the transmission which is tightening um, this set of gears right here. So if you look under here, you'll see how there's these, uh, there's a screw right here, and there should be another one back here as well. Well, if you can see with the lighting, and that's where this screw goes and also this one as well and we're tying the same thing roughly around 42 or uh, 45 uh, foot pounds okay so now you can see where the I tighten the screws or I'm gonna say those bolts actually so now the next step would be trying to put the casing on top of it now for the other half So now we're going to put these bolts in the, that have these uh, rounded ends right here for shoe forks. So it'll be one that goes here and the other two will go here and here. And that size is a size also a 14 uh, millimeter. So now we're going to put all these bolts on the transmission and for that one for those bolts will be uh, 10 millimeter. Okay, so we got all the bolts tied and torqued, and it should be at first 38 um, foot pounds, and then after that, it'll be uh, 53 uh, foot pounds of torque, but it's sealed. And it took almost three hours just to. Uh, Put this together so when you're putting it together there's going to be a, a gap um, right here so what you have to do is align all your shift forks have to be uh, aligned uh, vertically um, on all four so so it's able to sit flush or just a little bit of a uh, tiny bit of gap on there and once you do that you can start um, tightening all the bolts and you can put these as well. I have this shaft that's gonna go in here. And this uh, mounted gap that's gonna have on there. So you put this past drive and you have your little marker here. Just past drive. And you'll see here why. You just line that up. And the bolt that would be on here, or the little uh, torque screw, would be this one, and that's going to be a size T. Let's see, twenty-seven. Alright, so we got this to work. So we're here you're in drive, neutral, and park. It works. So now we're gonna put um, this uh, bolt that goes on here, and that would be this piece here. And also the size for this one will be a size um, 8. Okay, so 
Okay, so that's it for this video. For the next one, we're just gonna add the valve body or the mechatronic unit on to the um, transmission. And also we're gonna add all the other parts that are gonna go um, in here. But yeah, yeah, this was a little bit of a struggle just to uh, put this transmission in. Also, on one note, is that be careful on the shift forks. So don't you don't want to um, push this or use force um, to push it down because you need to align um, this shift fork here, the plastic one, and there's the other ones that are um, in there because uh, you don't want those to break. You want those to line up um, to the holes in there. That way it'll sit set perfectly and you could just start tying all the bolts on there. But yeah, so the next video we'll just do gonna install the valve body and all the other components.